So what's going on guys, it's JMHP Boxing. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click on to any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of my videos. It really does help me out if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel like always, it is appreciated. So the Hall of Fame trainer Nacho Beristein who was in charge of the Jarvis Jr. corner last night in Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.'s 12 round unanimous decision loss to Canelo Alvarez and Nacho Beristein basically said after the fight that Chavez Jr. was just too afraid to throw any punches on Canelo Alvarez. To quote Beristein here he says it was really negative everything totally we did not win a round it is not possible to cover the sum of a finger Canelo Alvarez is simply better technically speaking I asked him to throw punches simply to throw punches but he was afraid to throw a jab or a certain combination because he knew that three or four punches would come back in return and those darts were born in his head really early and they stayed with him for the entire fight I don't blame the fans for being frustrated with his performance, they are quite right in feeling that way and I feel the same way too and he must also be frustrated, his father to everyone, he should apply in himself and he should behave like a boxing pro and success will come to him. So Nacho Beristein just saying what's on everyone's mind basically, Chavez Jr just didn't do anything. Like A lot of fans and people were let down last night for this fight, a lot of people are expecting it to be a Mexican war. Like we've seen in the past, like with the Barrero Morales trilogy and the Israel Vasquez and Rafael Marquez trilogy, stuff like that. Great Mexican trilogies over the years, but the fight last night was just an embarrassment, in my opinion. Like after two or three rounds, it was like Chavez Jr. just packed up and said, You know what? I'm just surviving. I'm not going to do anything in this fight. Like, I can't win this fight. And it let a lot of people down and it left a lot of people with red cheeks after the fight like even Chavez Jr's father Julio Cesar Chavez Sr when he fought um, Oscar De La Hoya in the late 90s he was out of his depth in that fight like he was a faded fighter Oscar De La Hoya was young fresh very talented was just too young and too fresh for Chavez Sr but even in the rematch they had Chavez Sr put it all in the line and made the fight competitive for a few rounds like he went out on his shield against Oscar De La Hoya Chavez Jr just went out embarrassingly last night to Canelo Alvarez and it got to a point where Canelo even got bored in beating Chavez Jr up he was beckoning Chavez Jr to the ropes saying come on fight man come on do something I'm letting you basically throw some punches on me here but Chavez Jr. just wouldn't take the bait at all. And it was just a real letdown. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, this fight was just an advertisement. Because shortly after the fight ended, Gennady Golovkin and Sol Canelo Alvarez was announced for September 16th. And all this fight was, was a plug for that fight. Even some people are saying this fight was a fix. I don't think this fight was a fix at all. I don't think fights are being fixed. I'm just saying here that Canelo Alvarez was just... A few levels above Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And many people were surprised. Like, Chavez Jr. was a horrible fighter in his prime, in my opinion. He wasn't even a great fighter then. Yeah, he's had some good moments in his career, like the Andy Lee fight and when he won the world title and stuff like that. But he hasn't really had the best career as a Chavez Jr. And I thought that Canelo Alvarez was going to win the fight easily last night. But what let me down really was that I thought that Chavez Jr. was going to at least try because he's had a very good training camp apparently. He's put his all into this fight. Even if he would have tried and still got dominated, well then people would have said, well at least he tried. But he didn't even do that. So I think Chavez Jr. is done as a fighter. I don't see him going forward from here. I think he should just cut his losses. He got paid very well last night and I think... He should just retire from the sport because if you put putting your all into a fight and then you come into the ring and do that kind of performance, then what's the point? A few people are saying the weight could have been a factor, but all through the build-up, people were saying, oh, this weight's not a factor, this weight's not a factor, so stop blaming it on weight and stuff now. Then people are just making excuses, in my opinion. So, yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM at Speedboxing. What do you think?